Hi, I'm Miles from Carp School, and I'm going to show you how to tie the needle knot. It's one of the safest ways of connecting leg core onto your main line. First thing to do is to remove some of the leg core from inside. So I'm just going to pop a, pop a section of that out, two or three inches, more than enough. And so that we have a section there, you can see where there's no lead wire inside. Need to quickly burn the end of the lead core like that, just to make sure it doesn't fray. I do that just pushing it onto a baiting needle, sliding it off like so. Okay, take a nice small splicing needle, these are ideal. And we're going to hook that in about an inch from the end of the leg core. Turn it around and pass it back out through the end that we've just melted, like so. Then take your main line. Hook it onto the splicing needle, close the little latch gate. Pull it all the way through, like so. Okay, we're now going to pass this main line around the leg core and back up again and tuck it back into the initial um, loop that we form up here. So I tend to stick my thumb and forefinger over there and that will allow me to do that later. Hopefully that will make more sense in a second. So we're going to wrap the, our main line around the leg core once once, twice, three times, four times, five times. I go back again once, twice, three, and four. You can see there, there's the initial loop that we created, and I'll tuck the tag end through there, like so and pull it on through, all right? Make sure you wet this. You can't just pull this knot down in one easy slip. You need to, using your left hand, thumb and forefinger, just gently tease those little barrel rolls down all the way to where the main line leaves the leg core. I'm just going to pull that down that little last section there. As you can see, give it a little pull with the main line and pull that down really, really good and tight. Now, it's probably best here to leave yourself a bit of a long tag end, which is different to how I tie off or snip off most of my knots, but you'll find that a short tag end is a lot stiffer and may hinder the any components coming off of your leg core. Uh, a, a, long, a longer one seems to be more supple and just bends over nicely. So I leave that nice and long. Now the real test of whether this is the best way of doing it or not, is if this were a, a helicopter rig, that the beads and swivel that we use to create such rigs should be able to pass nice and freely straight over the top without any problem at all, as you can see there. So we've got a nice big ring on the swivel and that bead there moves over, well, it probably won't go back over now, but it come back over this way, but it will slide straight over the leg core. You can see the, knot, the rolls of that knot there are virtually no different in diameter to the leg core. If there was a splice there, you would make it double the thickness to create a loop. And that makes it much harder for these components to come over, so this knot is the ideal way of connecting your main line onto leg core, particularly when you're using a helicopter rig.